the first six years of a child's life. Beginning with the mother's pregnancy is a time of great promise and rapid development. It's a time when the child's brain is most open to the influence of relationships and experiences. At the same time, significant disturbances in the child's life, such as trauma, neglect, and abuse, can undermine their development and lifelong health. The most important time for a child's brain development is during the mother's pregnancy and the early years. The brain is one of the few organs not fully developed at birth. At birth, a baby's brain can only control the most basic functions, those that keep the heart beating, the lungs taking in air, and the sucking reflex, which allows the baby to feed on the breast or bottle. Over the next 2,000 days, from zero to six years, the child's brain will learn its more complex functions, which include memory, speech and language, comprehension, emotion regulation, planning and decision-making. By understanding how the brain develops, you'll be able to understand a child, respond more effectively to their needs and build a foundation for a child's physical, social, emotional and mental health. Let's learn more about a child's developing brain. The brain starts to form very early in the mother's pregnancy babies are learning even before they are born. The child's brain development is affected by both nature and nurture. Nature refers to all genetic and hereditary factors, what the child is born with, their inherited traits and abilities. Nurture refers to all environmental factors, what the child experiences, their environment, the care they receive, and the relationships they have with people and their community. Even though the newborn's brain architecture contains billions of neurons, only a small number of them are connected. The brain of a newborn baby is basically a disorganized bundle of nerves that need to be connected or wired together for the brain to be able to communicate with other parts of their body. A child's everyday experiences and relationships with their parents and caregivers create brain connections. This process is called serve and return. Serve and return refers to the two-way, back-and-forth interactions between a child and a responsive adult. To understand the concept of serve and return, imagine a game of tennis. A child serves when they reach out for interaction, when they smile, babble, or cry. Responsive parents and caregivers can return the serve by smiling back, playing peekaboo, or offering comfort with a hug. The more positive serve and return experiences they have, the stronger the child's brain connections become. 